Now, typically, the political transition process in developing countries presents two major risks to the economy. The first is political risk, which has to do with implications for economic policy, expenditure priorities, and sustainability of projects. Now, the second is security risk, which um, arises from the intra-party and inter-party squabbles. We will be looking at the potential impact of the current political situation on the 2018 budget, as well as its implications for the economy as a whole. Now, let's um, get the take of an economic analyst and the CEO of Flame Academy and Consulting Limited, Mr. Oji Udemizwe, who joins us now from our Abuja studio. Good morning, Mr. Udemizwe. Thank you very much for joining us. Is there any day here in Lagos? I don't know what you have there in Abuja. Well, Abuja is um, um, very bright, not raining yet. It rained yesterday, but uh, the weather is very good, and uh, we hope it continues to be like that. Thank you for inviting me, Chimese. My pleasure to um, uh, be on your show this morning at Abuja All right. Studio. Sure. Well, the rains are all blessings. Anyway, let's begin with the fate of the 2018 budget, especially the Supplementary Appropriation Bill. Can the budget be isolated from all the political wranglings going on? Yeah, it is the nature of politicians to position and reposition themselves as we come towards a milestone um, year, like election years. So what's going on now is not unexpected. It's, um, I would say, somehow uh, normal, as long as these politicians remember always that you know, they are all positioning to serve the people. They are all positioning to gain the authority and power to manage the economy of this nation. And if they are aware of this, then it behoves them to ensure that in the process of trying to um, get power to manage uh, the economy, that they do not altogether destroy the same economy. There has been a flurry of activities in the political landscape in the country. Uh, what, you, what is uh, generally reported today as uh, a gale of uh, defections from the um, APC government to alternative uh, uh, parties. Uh, that is normal. People are expressing their political choices uh, trying to change their philosophies or trying to correct their errors or make choices as they will. This is not abnormal, but I expect that the ruling party must be mature enough to handle this process such that we don't um, uh, uh, blow up the economy. I had warned some time ago in the Lagos uh, studio that as we approached 2019, that a lot of forces will come to play. And I feel vindicated that these forces are playing right now and they are playing in some huge and uh, strange manners. But there's no cause for alarm if you ask me. It's only as long as the ruling party will mature enough to handle these events happening right now. As long as they are, you know, are willing to continue to rule the whole nation. To remember that they are uh, the party handling the affairs of Nigeria and Nigerians and not a particular a set of people or political uh, members. So I am hoping that this majority will come upon those who are ruling us to ensure that we continue to see ourselves as one nation, one people, one destiny, and one purpose. Well, we will all continue to hope. Now, in the supplementary budget, the president asked the National Assembly to drop the projects they inserted in the budget and replace them with what is contained in the Supplementary Appropriation Bill. Do you think the National Assembly will approve that, even though they are on recess now? Uh, um, without uh, sounding or without uh, trying to um, uh, be uh, a bit critical, I think the executive government is making a somewhat unreasonable demand on the National Assembly. Without taking sides, it is right to say that the National Assembly has a great role to play in determining the budget of this nation. While the executive still has the primary responsibility to execute the budget, it is not out of place. It is not abnormal. It is not inconsistent with the constitutional provision that the National Assembly must participate 
in this allocation. That's why they took time over the month, even though that delayed a lot. You know, they were accusing the MDAs for not showing up for the budget uh, 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 defense. But well, if the National Assembly has that such right to work with the MDAs, with different ministries, departments and agencies of government, to interview them at, at committee level to determine their budget, then it is right to say that they have a, you know, a things to impute, impute to make in the budget. And according to them, and some of us have also read a lot of those, there, there seem to be some imbalances in the way the appropriation was made. There seemed to be some, you know, lack of attention to the uh, unique nature of this country, what the federal character, you know, the geopolitical uh, uh, dynamics in the allocation of resources of this country. Even those who have, you know, it's not just uh, a sectional. You know, in the Senate, in the House of Rep, there was a general consensus that the budget did not recognize the, you know, ethno, religious, uh, geographical, uh, uh, intricacies and dynamics in this country. Appointments have been one, you know, one-sided and biased. You know, allocation of resources and projects have not been so balanced, you know, in many decisions taken by this government. So I think government should not continue to see themselves as, a, you know, an authoritarian as a, 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 a set of people who must have their way. The National Assembly, you know, must make their contribution because they are the closest representatives of the people. And if there are projects that are very important to their people that have not been well captured in the project, they have the right to make those appropriations. Even though we also know that the political issues, you know, are also coming to play. People are thinking that people, are, you know, the uh, legislature, the executive, they are all angling and positioning for funding that they need so much this period to fund the electoral process. But whatever it is, these people must remember that the Nigerian, you know, a, a citizen is living in abject poverty at this moment. While we are, you know, wallowing in, a, you know, in um, uh, uh, excess resources as a nation, people are hungry. The misery index in this country is rising higher and higher. Unemployment is, you know, uncontrollable. Jobs have been lost in this economy in the past, you know, three to four years instead of creating employment. You know, uh, our economy is not growing as it should. The growth is still very fragile. And if you listen to the uh, recent news, you know, in the past few days, a lot of indices, the PMI, you know, even the external reserve and all of those other, other factors are, you know, looking fragile. They are tending towards the negative zones. So this economy is not yet at a point where we can afford to keep our eyes away from the ball. Every stakeholder, judiciary, the legislature, the uh, executive, even the state government uh, systems must work together more at this point than ever before to ensure that we hold this economy together so that in 2019, we will not be fighting over a nation that is totally broken and you know, uh, whose uh, uh, existence is you know, heavily threatened. I implore the government of the uh, People's uh, Congress, uh, I mean uh, the APC government, to please remember that they are in charge of this whole nation, not just a sector or a section of this uh, country. Until the election is held next year, we are still under the government of the APC, and they must rule or you know, guide us as one people. They must not divide us. By the time we come to that uh, threshold, we now know who will take over, whether they will continue or another party will continue. But for now, they are responsible for the lives of Nigerians. And that is a duty they must handle very responsibly. Security of life and property in this country is at its worst situation. Now, Mr. The Mr. real sector are not progressing. Mr. Demezwe, Mr. Jobs Demezwe. are not being created. Several sectors are neglected. Infrastructure is still a major issue. This must be on the front, you know, uh, burner at the top table of every discussion, not political positioning and who is coming, uh, um, uh, you know, taking over 2019 or not. While that is their business and they go about it, they must remember that this country is going down the drain if care is not taken.